What's up everybody? <clears throat> this is a video on the new Samsung Galaxy S7 for Metro PCS. Uh, I have the 32 gigabyte model here. Uh, here it is. It has basically on the back of it, you get your camera, you get your autofocus uh, lens and you get your flash. Uh, here's the unit itself. Um, on the top, you get, I believe, this, uh, the SIM card slot is right there. Pop it on and off to take off the SIM card. You get a little hole there, basically, noise cancellation. <clears throat> on the side, you get the power or the lock on and off. Down here, you get the charging port and the headphone jack and you get speaker down there and the microphone on the side here you get volume down and volume up uh, so far let's turn it on here is the screen swipe to unlock uh, or swipe up in one of these and it brings up the dialer or brings up the camera um, it retails for, <clears throat> I think, over $500 for Metro PCS, no contract. Uh, here is the main screen that you see on the Samsung Galaxy S7. Um, you swipe down and you get your notifications. You get uh, quick launch buttons, notifications, Wi-Fi, mute, rotation, Bluetooth. Wi-Fi, calling, airplane mode, not disturb, your brightness, you get settings up here, quick connect, tells you what it's doing, uh, you get your home screens here, uh, it came with uh, four home screens, one was like an optional news feed that basically is just junk in my opinion, some people would use it, some people would not, uh, this is all stock. Metro PCS folder, you get all the good stuff. Uh, good thing about this is that you can do mobile hotspot right off the bat without rooting the phone, which is really good. Uh, I believe it's eight gigabytes per month that you're allowed, um, which is pretty good. Uh, app show up here on the front. As you can see, here's some widgets that you can move anywhere you want, or you can remove it. Um, Look at the phone itself, the menu, pre-installed with these uh, folders like I showed you earlier. Google, Google Maps, Chrome, Photos, Pictures, everything related with Google, and everything related with Samsung. You can work out with this. It has S Health uh, Calculator. It's a nice standard calculator. Turning the calculator on the side, it turns it into a scientific calculator which is really nice, really cool. You get this huge result. <laughs> uh, let's see where we at. Uh, you click on this button down here. It uh, brings up all the recent applications that you had open before. Uh, the menu button or the home button is here and the back button is here, as you can see. Okay, so let's go back to opening the menu, uh, calendar, how does that look like, showing the features of this phone, uh, you can make your calendar smaller, larger, or in different views, like just weekly view, monthly view, and an even bigger monthly view, which is pretty cool. Um, today, more manage. You can set up appointments and stuff. You can set up things that you want to do in here, which is pretty cool. Um, let's go back. <clears throat> uh, camera. Let's look at the camera. Okay, so these are the settings that you get. It's a 9.1 megapixel camera. On the back side of it, you can choose. Actually, it's a 12 megapixel camera. Um, you can choose here the ratios, how big you want the photos to be.
pretty cool. Uh, you get your settings tab. Ooh, you get your settings tab for even more things here. Uh, settings tab brings this here. Uh, video, uh, you can record up to Ultra HD. Basically 3K video, 4K video. Uh, it's set to a standard full HD, which is uh, 1920 by 1080. That's 30 FPS or full HD at 60 FPS. And they can go all the way down to VGA, which is 480p. Uh, let's see, tells you what's available, what's not available on the video and the pictures and stuff. Uh, let's go back. Uh, motion photo on tracking. Do you want to be tracked? No, I want to do that. Stabilization on grids off location shooting methods on the rear. That's basically voice control. Say cheese. <laughs> Uh, review pictures, quick launch, say raw file. Uh, this is like a pro mode basically if you want everything to be like it's raw file. Uh, save to the SD card. You can use the volume keys to take pictures, shutter sound on and off and reset settings to default. What else do we got here? We got auto on or off for the light timer HDR if you want your photos to have a different color put that on you get your effects here these are the effects that come pre-installed in it make it look different it's got a couple more settings here uh, I saved it as the card motion control stabilization mode let's go back <coughs> clicking on the front activates the autofocus uh, and basically the brightness too. If you want it more brighter or lower in brightness. Uh, let's click on mode, whatever that is. Oh, look, you get all these um, settings as well. You get auto, pro, focus, panorama, uh, panorama, video clock, broadcast. You're doing live videos, YouTube, Facebook, click on that. Slow motion, visual shot, food, hyperlapse, food and hyperlapse, I don't know what that is. <clears throat> uh, we click on the camera facing the front and we'll see how that looks. As you can see, that is me right there taking the video of this phone. It's the same settings as the camera on the back, except for this one is a five megapixel face uh, front facing camera. The pictures come out to this resolution. Uh, the video, let's take a look at the video from the front. It goes up to 2K, so it's QHD, which is pretty damn good for a front facing camera. Usually, front facing cameras are shitty, only take about crappy pictures, even in laptops. Um, it has the same settings as the back facing camera, which is pretty good. And everything's the same, effects, camera, storage, selfie. Uh, you get your gallery there, down there. Um, here's pictures taken, that's how the gallery looks like. Uh, let's go back. <coughs> okay. Uh, open this up again. Clock. It's basically tell time stuff. Time, date, world time, stopwatch, timer. Um, you get your alarms, set the alarm. World time, search the world, a nice 3D view. Basically, I'm in LAX time, even though I'm located in San Francisco. Um, stopwatch, your timing, like you're making food and you want to time it. A timer as well, uh, which is pretty good. Cool back uh, contacts contacts basically just five contacts for now uh, basically you get your um, alphabet down here swipe up and down for the alphabet and search people's name uh, <coughs> 
gallery. The gallery on this device is basically... Uh, that's what it looks like. <laughs> All your pictures here, date, time, camera, more, selfies and stuff. Uh, okay, memo. It's like a notepad. Write memos in there and stuff. Manage categories, all memos, no memos written. Add a memo. Uh, messages, let's see. Let's take a look at this message from Metro PCS. Um, here's the message format. Auto correct up there. It also has swipe basically to um, automatically write the um, words without having to keep on typing them. It's pretty cool. You can change your settings here. Voice input, clipboard, all that good stuff. Uh, smiley faces. Yeah, I'm doing that smiley face. <laughs> Um, whoops, sorry. Okay, so phone. How the dialer looks. Voicemail, phone, uh, video chat, dialer, logs, favorites, contacts, phone, more. It's pretty good. Let's not look at the Play Store next. We're looking at main features and how this phone and stuff. And that's how the Play Store looks. Pretty fast, pretty smooth. It's not um, slow at all. Games, apps, entertainment and stuff. You can swipe and stuff. It gives you all the apps recommend for me. Basically install stuff. You can go to the comments, go to the ratings. And then we get like familiar stuff of things we're looking at. It's pretty cool. And yeah. Uh, let's see settings for this bad boy. You get your settings, you get your themes, lock, battery, theme screen. Let's take a look at that. It has a default steam. You can download themes in the store on the um, Samsung Galaxy place here recommended themes you can change your whole look of your device which is pretty damn cool to any one of these things that you see here or you can just get the default theme it's pretty sick customize your device without having to root it and stuff you can get your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, hotspot and tethering. So with hotspot and tethering, you can do mobile hotspot or you can do USB tethering without the mobile hotspot, which is pretty cool because you charge your phone at the same time. Uh, your data usage, how much data you use, how much data limit you have. As you can see, I have a 100 gigabytes uh, limit with this. And so far, I use 2.17 gigabytes. Uh, keeps track of the mobile data and stuff in different applications and how much data applications are using and stuff which is pretty damn bad because if you don't have unlimited data and other carriers then you're going to be paying a huge bill here are all the um, things that feature that it has which is basically a standard android um, device stuff which is pretty good uh, let's go back <clears throat> and that's it for the default stuff uh, yeah you have any more questions oh and then you click on the home button and you hold it it brings up Google talk and stuff Google um, information like the iPhone that you ask it questions and yeah that's it I believe that's all for this phone. Um, this is a test phone 
Metro PCS that I've been using, which is pretty damn good. Uh, one good thing about this phone is that the battery lasts a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, you can't even believe it. I've been, like, playing video games and doing tethering at the same time with this. And I've been doing it for, like, five hours, and it only dropped to 70% of heavy usage. Light usage, this might be at 90-something percent. So keep that in mind that the battery is improved in this one than other ones. One thing that I don't like about it is that the screen is way too sensitive. Um, like a simple touch can open an app. As you can as you can tell in the review that I've been doing, I have been um, trying to navigate stuff and accidentally opens up other applications, which basically is a small problem for me. I know you can probably take out the sensitivity in the settings, but still. Somebody who doesn't know how to do that would be pissed off. <laughs> and yeah, so far those are the bad stuff or the bad things about this phone, which is pretty much not that much. <laughs> um, if you have any questions about it, please comment. You can, you know, you hold this down and basically you can choose your, um, select your default screen or you can add more home screens here with widgets, thingies and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, if you have any more questions, please comment, ask, and I will an answer, and I will put speed test videos about this too. All right, thank you very much. <clears throat>